right, so in this video, we're going to be showing you what hand tools you're going to need to become a plumber. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton. And I'm Karsten. And we're the Plumbing Gurus. Yeah, on this channel, we're looking to save you money and keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. That's right, let's get into this video. Hey Sean, what's the guru question of the day? Hey gurus, when you're starting out in plumbing, is it worth spending money on the good tools or buying cheaper tools? Sean, that is a very good question. Um, we both believe that uh, with, with any tool, you get what you pay for. So obviously the more money you're going to spend, the, 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 hopefully the longevity of the tool. There are tools that you can spend a little less money on, uh, and there's tools that you definitely want to go ahead and spend uh, the, the right amount of money for, for that tool. Yeah, 100%. We're going to let you know which ones you're going to want to spend the money on. But uh, let us know in the comments below if what your opinion is on that. Alright, so in this video we're going to be definitely leaving a link in the description below for all the tools that we're going to be showing you to become a plumber. Let's do this. Alright, so now we're going to show you all the best tools we like to use. I got here a rigid pipe cutter. It's a ratchet cutter. One of my favorite tools cuts ABS and uh, PVC and things like that. Super clean. Pretty expensive, so you don't necessarily need this tool, but I highly recommend having it. If you can't afford that one, this one is actually equally as good. It is a pipe cutter. It'll cut ABS, copper, um, PVC, and these are very nice to have. These are rigid. We do recommend if you're going to buy a big tube cutter, buy the rigid brand. They do make the best one. Got an ABS glue pot for gluing ABS. Pretty basic. Hammer, think you know what a hammer is. Going to need that. We have here a basin wrench. This is for getting in tight areas underneath sinks, kitchen sinks, vanities, things like that. You can tighten and loosen things where you can't get your pliers in or a crescent wrench or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here, it doesn't matter too much if you buy the cheaper one, but this one extends it in and out. So it is one of the better ones to buy. Absolutely, thanks Carson. Um, here we've got an adjustable uh, crescent wrench. These are nice to spend a little bit of money on. The reason why, um, uh, we like to use these is because they're flat here so for finishing for uh, finishing nuts and bolts or whatever it doesn't uh, leave marks on the finished Text product. Text the finish, yeah. Finish, yeah exactly. These are just a set of channel locks, uh, channel lock uh, crescent wrenches which are really nice to have. They're, they're quite expensive but they're well worth uh, spending the money on uh, because they do open up to an inch and a half which is wider than uh, a lot of crescent wrenches that they have out there. These are adjustable pliers. We like to call these well, they are called channel locks, that's the brand name. And these by far are the best adjustable pliers that you can get on the market by far. We've, we've tried, tried them all. We've yeah. tried them yeah. all. These are 100%. Uh, Start with we the good would ones. suggest these. Yeah, absolutely. And then here we've just got a scraper. We use it for wax seals. Um, I mean, you could use it for a lot of different things. It's kind of like a multi purpose tool as well. So, and these uh, set of gloves. Uh, always nice to have in your tool bag. Keep those hands Keep clean. Keep those hands nice and clean, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Thanks. So another important one, this is more for the finishing side of things if you're installing like fixtures and things like that. So we have uh, Allen keys. This one is a, a multi one. Doesn't always work in every situation. So if you are going to spend money on them, I would get just these ones. You got metric and imperial. You don't necessarily have to spend a bunch of money on these. Allen keys or Allen keys. But you do want them for sure. Uh, we got it, our crimpers. These are extremely important tools. Probably one of the most common ones that we will use daily for sure for, for uh, crimping pecs to seal water. Um, these mini ones that we have here, these are definitely the best ones you have you can get. There are uh, cheaper mini ones, but we will put it in the link in the description below where you can get these this brand because these are the better ones. We highly recommend spending your money on the crimpers. If you're gonna spend money on anything, these crimpers are extremely important. You'll find the big long ones that wherever they're they're junk. We've been, all been through them. We don't like them. Mm -hmm. Pex cutters. This is what's gonna pet, this is what's gonna cut your pecs for when you crimp it. Uh, these ones here, they're Milwaukee. They're metal. They're solid, and they're also the re the blade is replaceable. So we definitely would recommend buying these. But if you if you don't want to, you want to cheap on these. It's not a huge deal. 
Yeah, and uh, if you haven't already, check out uh, our video on how to cut and crimp uh, packs. Yeah, we'll put a, put a video up there for you. Put a link up there. Yeah, that's right. Here we've got uh, Fat Max tape measure. It's a pretty basic 16 footer. I like to use Fat Max because you can extend it a little further. It's got an 11 and foot stand out. 11 foot stand out, so it's really nice to have when you're, when you're throwing your tape measure out for measuring pipe and stuff. Here we've just got a basic uh, torpedo level. This is a Milwaukee, we love Milwaukee tools. It's got a, an eighth and a quarter inch to tell you you're grading your pipe. You want everything to slope downwards so everything flows properly. Here we've Make got- sure that crimp flows downhill. Yeah, Robertson Phillips and a flathead screwdriver, pretty basic. You don't need to spend a pile of money on these. Uh, here we've got a long, um, you can say something? Nope. Oh, and here we've got a long uh, flathead. This is good for knocking out the toilet flanges. Um, we use it for a lot of different things. Yeah, it? like it's more of a pry bar than anything. We don't yeah. really use this for as a flathead. It's just for banging out uh, flanges on the tool. Toilet flange. Toilet flange. flange. That's right. And then here we've got a top tool, which is very, very important to have. You could use other tools to tighten and loosen the uh, overflow and uh, the drain. What do you mean by top, top tool? So like top tool. So well, this is this is what you would put. Like so, you take your top. Um, cover off of your top. This is what would go into your, we call them Watco or waste, waste overflow. overflow. So when you're actually hooking up the so, drain portion of your tub, yeah, the, tub, the chrome part. Yeah, so this part would drop down and then you're able to put either a screwdriver in here or you could use uh, channel locks to uh, tighten as well. Yeah. It's a great, great, great tool to have. <clears throat> this is a uh, tin snips, pretty basic tool, but I would recommend spending a little bit of money on a good pair of tin snips because they are something that you're going to use almost every other day, yeah. uh, plumbing. And they can uh, fall apart they, if you use them too much, they, they're held yeah. together by nuts and bolts yeah. and cheap metal, so, like so if the, you buy the cheap ones, they fall apart. Yeah, exactly. So the Milwaukee ones, I've had these for a few years now, and they work great, just like that. So. And then obviously next we have a uh, silicone gun, pretty basic. Uh, nice to have for doing finishes if you're drilling hose bibs to, to cock the hose bibs. to seal all your potential leaks. Exactly, yeah. Keep everything watertight is what we want to do. And obviously the end, the last one we have here is a um, hacksaw. This is a multi-purpose tool. We've got wood, plastic, metal, uh, pretty much anything you want to put on the end of the blade you can almost cut right through depending on the kind of blade you use. And uh, that's about it. And then we've got, what's next? Well, we've got our tool bag here for all these nice tools that we have. We put them in strategically in your bag and organize so that when you do bring your tool bag into the house, or if it's if you're a DIY guy, you just have it in your house already. But when you grab your tool bag, it's ready to go and you know where every tool is so that when you grab it, you can put it back to the same spot, keep yourself organized and efficient. That's right. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video to the end. We appreciate that. It means a lot to us. Uh, and to all the subscribers we have, thank you very much. We appreciate all the love and support that you guys have given us. It helps us to keep us motivated to create more videos just like this one to keep you guys informed on some of the right plumbing practices and also some of the tools that we like to use. That's right. We hope you definitely got something out of this. There's a lot of tools involved, but these are the tools you're definitely going to want. So if you can pick up as much of these as you can, this is going to help you along the way with any of, this, any of the jobs you're going to do in the future. And uh, again, we're definitely going to be putting all this stuff in the link in the description below. Check it out. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. That's right. See you guys on the next one.